Hi, everyone. We're back with this week's mini lesson. And today we're going to be starting off, kicking off our semester by thinking about why we write a dissertation in the first place. Why is it a traditional requirement for a research-based doctoral degree, which is what an EDD is. It's equivalent to a PhD. So superficially, it's a tradition that have, has its roots in where a lot of um, our Western academic traditions come from, which is the German education system in the 18, well, the 19th century, early 19th century. And the dissertation was meant to be literally a trial by fire and an opportunity for a new, a new scholar, mostly a, the uh, a theological scholar, to set forth a liturgical argument and defend that position under public scrutiny. So those are the, some of the basic tenets of a dissertation that still exists today and what you will be doing in the end, uh, at the end of your dissertation journey. That still doesn't answer the question why we need to do that to, in order to reach that doctoral level. Why is that the pinnacle of attaining a doctoral degree? So I'm gonna set that question aside for just a second. And I want to visit the myth of the Gordian knot, which some of you might be familiar with. So just to recap, in this mythos, um, Alexander the Great happens upon an ancient cart in, a newly, in one of his newly conquered cities called Gordium. The cart was rumored to have belonged to King Gordius, which is rumored, whom is rumored to be the son of, or excuse me, the father of King Midas. However, the cart had become impossibly entangled and knotted up in its own yoke, and no one had ever been able to untangle it for, they don't say how long, but it was eons potentially when Alexander the Great happens upon it. Who knows if it's true, this is the mythology. So there are different versions of how the story ends. In one version, Alexander um, takes out his sword and slices that knot in half. Says it doesn't matter how we untie that Gordian knot. It's untied, let's move on, and he takes the cart. In the other version, however, which is probably more specific to what we're doing, Alexander does the work of examining, picking, and loosening the knot until he was fully able to untie it. Whichever version you prefer, the Gordian knot has become a term to describe a complex, knotty, and wicked problem that can only be solved by bold action. By now, you might be realizing where I'm going with this. The work of developing a dissertation is a bit like getting tied up in knots until it becomes our very own personal Gordian knot. And you've probably realized that's why there's a strange not icon that I've been using um, in our Blackboard site. So in this analogy, I think about the dissertation Gordian knot as having three strands that are entwined, knotted together, and strands that have to be loosened and woven back together in a new form. And that is part of the reason, well, doing that work is the reason why we write our dissertation. So let's talk about strand one. Our first strand is the expectation that you will conduct original research that brings new or expanded knowledge to our discipline, which is our discipline of education or, or um, education ad adjacent types of discipline. That work has to stand under its own scrutiny. And that is probably the strand we're most familiar with. That's the strand that encompasses the tradition of the dissertation. But that strand still doesn't explain why this work is important. So the second strand of our dissertation, Gordian Knot, helps further explain its importance. It's the major opportunity for a doctoral scholar to demonstra demonstrate to the scholarly community that you are a peer. And then there's the third strand, and perhaps this is the most important in the work that we'll be doing this semester. I'd argue that this strand is where you bring your whole self, your whole humanness to the table. Now, some people, probably a lot, would argue that you need to remove yourself from the research and writing process as much as, uh, as possible. Legitimate, right? You don't want to show that you have any bias towards your research, but that's not the reality, right? So some others would argue, and probably a lot in that camp, that that's an impossible task. And I'm kind of in that second camp. And in the realm of the EDD, I'd also argue that experiences, all of your academic work and your activities and your background will both inform your research and influence who you are as a scholar 
and a practitioner, which is what the EDD is all about. That third strand becomes even more complicated because we are whole people, right? And I want to recognize that. And that is part of this process that sometimes feels like it's not part of the process. Um, we are people that have obligations. We have families. We often have full-time jobs when we're coming into this and interests that are outside our discipline. So unfortunately, there is no sword <laughs> that we can use to untie our Gordian knot. The process of writing the dissertation, not the developing the concept or even doing the research, but the process of writing the dissertation is a process of logic and clarity. And those are the tools that you are going to use to unravel your Gordian knot. And as you pick and you tug and you wrestle with your Gordian knot, you'll begin to feel, you'll begin to find a way to braid those strands strands back together because none of them are independent from each other. I also want to recognize that some Gordian knots in our class and across the decades of people who have been writing dissertations are really tightly wound and really naughty. Some other outside factors like health and workload and family obligations, with it all coming into our writing time, it feels like a lot. It can feel overwhelming which is why I wanted to talk about this to start off our semester. I want to recognize that in this process, some of you will take longer than others. It's not a race. That's okay. By now, I hope you realize that my goal for you is that you make substantive progress this semester on chapters one and three of your dissertation. And that might mean different things for different Gordian knots and different people that are in this class. But I also want to recognize this. The only way to untie your Gordian knot, not, is to write yourself a way to your solution. Writing is the only tool that we have to do this. So that's why I'm starting this semester with this mini lesson. I want to emphasize as we begin this semester that you all have the skills and that you have the Edgewood support system to help you unravel your Gordian knot and finish your dissertation. You can do this, but it's going to take writing to do this, setting aside time to do this, and thinking through a process that works for you, context and in your situation, a way that you can set aside time to do your writing. That is the only way a dissertation gets written.